pipes, tobacco, and whiskey. Today we have a full crew here. Everybody showed up, so this is going to be a good day. And today we're doing something a little different. Instead of um, giving you impressions on tobacco, we're going to give you impressions on a whiskey. So we went out and uh, purchased this whiskey. I'm gonna let Colton kind of tell you a little bit about it. So what we're trying today is Very Old Barton. This is by the Sazerac Company, and they're out of Frankfort, Kentucky. Sazerac also owns Buffalo Trace, and Buffalo Trace bottles quite a bit of different whiskey. Uh, obviously the Very Old Barton, they do Buffalo Trace, and they do another one that I like, uh, Benchmark. It's a really, really good whiskey. It's kind of another budget whiskey like this one. Um, this one is at 86 proof, which is 43% alcohol, if you do your math, and it's aged for four to six years. Um, you can get it for about $12 a bottle. We've seen it for $16 a bottle. That's for a $7.50. Um, but I did see a, what was a 1.75 for $19 at the liquor store a couple days ago. Really? So yeah, yeah. So it's definitely a budget whiskey, but we're going to talk about how we think it's actually Pretty good for the money, we think, but Dad did some math on it as to what yeah, we got. Yeah, um, I kind of crunched the numbers, and in a 750 bottle, uh, you can approximately get about 25 ounces, it's about equivalent to 25 ounces. And if we're estimating that a shot is, a do is an ounce and a half, then you can get about 17 shots out of a bottle. And at $12 a bottle, that comes out to be about 70 to 72 cents a shot. So it's pretty economical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it's, and we got, you know, we got this at a, uh, at a uh, Total Wine here in Texas. Uh, I'm, I don't know how um, popular that is across the nation, uh, but I'm sure that this also exists in many other different types of liquor stores. At about that price. I'm yeah, sure. probably yeah. around that price. So. Sure. All right, so I guess we're just going to jump right into the actual the tasting and our impressions on it. The first thing I wanted to talk about was the color of it and all that stuff. You know, whenever you look at it, I to me it looks it's got a, look, a good caramel kind of uh, tint to it. I guess would be a good word. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know about you guys, but it's pretty clear. Um, there's not really too much. Uh, Yesterday when we tried this, uh, Nathan and I found a little bit of particulate in there, there just a little, little bit. Very small, but it wasn't cloudy at all. No, no, and I've, I've drank in some bourbons where it's, it's, it, it's pretty cloudy. They're definitely on the cheaper side, but this one, which is really about at that same price point of the ones that I'm talking about, um, it's really clear in, in, in comparison to them, so that's good. Um, we did notice some legs on it, like once you tilt it and bring it back. There's a lot of discrepancy as to what that really means. So, for me, all that means is the actual viscosity of the uh, the alcohol in it. And yeah, the, how how dense it is. Yeah, the liquor yeah, or something yeah. There, there's some that I've seen that, like, whenever you tilt it and you look <coughs> at the legs, it's it's almost like a syrup. You know, it's so thick. This one doesn't have that quality. You know, as much. Yeah, the legs can either be thin and runny, yeah. or thick or mm -hmm. and a little wider. Mm -hmm. These are thin and runny. Yes. Um, you know, I, I read where they did a, an experiment between a, an, a vodka and a bourbon that was the same proof. Yeah. And uh, to see if the legs were similar on each one. Mm -hmm. And they were totally different, so it blew that theory out of the water. Oh, so, yeah. so uh, you know, what do legs mean? Who knows? All I know is that the color is a caramel color. Mm -hmm. Typically, uh, if the the darker the color, the more intense the flavors. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, and, th and this is kind of a clear caramel, so it's not real dark. It's kind of on the lighter side. Yeah. Oh, and also on the on the darker, you know, that's the longer it's aged, the darker it, the darker it gets. You know. Well, so. it can it can absorb more uh, more qualities from the wood mm -hmm. and the casks and the charring from the wood. So yeah. Yeah. So like in comparison to like a Highland Park Twelve, this is a little bit on the lighter color. So that's a good effect. Um, let's run right into the uh, the nose of it. So whenever you get that initial smell, what, what what were you guys picking up on it? I picked up quite a bit of the chocolatiness after I got past the initial alcohol burn, and even some yeasty bready. Almost like a cornbread, you know. You smell the corn mash in there. I did. On well, that, that alcohol, the alcoholness, <clears throat> kind of gives you a, a little bit of a spice to it, kind of maybe like a cinnamon spice. Yeah. Um, my glass is a little different than yours. You guys have the typical Glencairn glass. Mm -hmm. This is this is supposed to be a whiskey glass as well, but if you can see the, it's more of a tulip glass 
it opens up at the top, whereas yours kind of comes slender. That Glencairn glass is better for nosing. Okay. This kind of the the uh, the it's aromas sweaty. kind of breathe. Yeah, it, it they go away faster. So I, in this glass, I don't get as much alcohol as I did in in those glasses. Interesting. Well, and it didn't seem to just a note on the, everything we've talked about so far. I put a drop of water in every bit of bourbon or whiskey that I, I drink straight and just just to kind of clear it up just to add that other note of you know I don't know what well, I, I don't think water really has uh, flavor but no but I, and it, it doesn't seem to change whether I had it straight as is or with a drop of water or anything it, it seems to hold true to its nature it's a bourbon so it, it's gonna still be the, that the way. sweetness of the corn mash really comes out yeah, yeah. I get that pretty well. I get a little bit of vanilla, just a little bit, a hint of caramel, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I, I oak. already said about the spice. Yeah, you get the oakiness, the yeah. charred oakiness, uh, kind of an earthy tone. Yeah. As as I, I I tried this several times, and as I let it sit a little more and open up, the alcohol dissipated, and some of those other characteristics came out better. So I, I like to let it sit a little bit. I also tried it with one drop of water, yeah. and I tried it without water. And honestly, I, I, I'm like you. I normally put a drop of water in every straight yeah. whiskey I'm going to drink. Uh, but this one I kind of like better without the water. Hmm. That was just my personal yeah. taste. Cool. And then on the, the notes itself that I got, I honestly got a little bit of the dried fruitiness as well. Mm. A little, I, I got all the, you know, the smokiness after the alcohol hit of the, the alcohol nose hit on it. I yeah. got a little bit of the oakiness and the caramels and everything, but mainly I got a lot of the dried fruits smells and notes as well. Very sweet. Something, yeah, very that, sweet. something that you folks out there might want to uh, also, when you're nosing a whiskey, a trick that I learned recently was that if, you, if your nose starts to get muddled or confused, or maybe a little bit too much of the alcohol smell. They say if that you'll take a deep breath in, into your shirt mm -hmm. and then try the whiskey again, that it clears up a lot of what that alcohol Almost that like, you had. And yeah. so and so that and it, it, it actually works. So that was kind of cool. Almost like a palate. Kinda, well, palate yeah, cleanser. palate cleanser yeah, for yeah, your nose. nose. Kind of yeah. like they do at fragrance stores where they <clears> make <throat> you sniff coffee beans and then you sniff a new really? fragrance. Yeah, I didn't know that. You try it out and it's it's. You, you can actually smell everything huh. when you get a clean palate. It's, everybody has that. Any, anything that has a connoisseur base has some type of palate cleanser yeah, or something, and whiskey has it too, and it's your shirt. Cool. Again, as you open it up, it gets, it gets better. Cool. Well, do you guys want to do the fun part and go on ahead and yeah. give it a taste? Or? Yeah. Let's, let's talk about the palate. You know, like what I, and we, we like to let it sit on our mouth just a little bit. Whenever well, we now, it. also understand that when you're checking for the palate, you're not checking really your flavors. No. It's how it feels, how it reacts in your mouth. So you're not really trying to identify flavors at this time. It's what it feels like in your mouth, okay? Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and start and say it's a bourbon. Yeah. So <laughs> those of you who don't drink bourbon often, you're going to try this. You're going to make a grimace. You're going to make a face. It's got that burn to it. But I will say that with this particular one that I've tried out of several, I'll say, ec economic brands mm -hmm. or economic bottles of whiskey, bourbon, things like that, man, that burn is low, though. It yeah. doesn't, it's short. It's very short. It's, it's a sting. It's a hit. And then yeah. pretty much It's done. punchy. Yeah. It's, it's punchy right at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, and there's, there's some burn, alcohol burn that goes along with it. But the actual feel in my mouth mm -hmm. is kind of a... Creamy, velvety kind yeah, of right feel. Yeah, right towards the end. Yeah, yeah. I, it's it's not, uh, it's not too watery, mm -hmm. but it's also not syrupy. Yeah, it's right in the middle, kind of a creaminess to it. Yeah, and I, I kind of like the mouth feel on this. Yeah, and like it, it, it coats well. Yes, that's that's I think that's a good thing. No matter how, you know, you swish around the whiskey in your mouth, the bourbon, you do anything, you swish it around, and and. The, the, the burn from the alcohol eventually goes away where it leaves more of just kind of a warm, lingering yeah. feeling and to yeah. it. And I have rather enjoyed that because, yeah, it punches right at the beginning and you get the alcohol hit. But after about two, three seconds of getting over it, it's, it's really warm. 
Yeah. It's, it's a really nice feeling. It's not one of those you grimace at it, you make a face. It's, it's one of those you enjoy it because it, it, it warms up your whole body, not just your mouth. It's, it's right. nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I felt the warm. Yeah, definitely in my mouth and like not on my tongue. And Nose it, it again, throat, guys, yeah. after you've had a sip. Nose yeah. it again. You'll notice that that alcohol is, is dissipating now. It's, wow. It's kind of gone. Yeah, it really is. Yes. And so, yeah. so now you're getting other things like the wood tones and the, and the mm -hmm. vanilla and the, uh, and that vanilla just hit for me too pretty yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. So now it's all now now you're past all of the yeah, burn and the yeah, liquor, yeah. and so now it's just that sweetness that's there. Really, really good notes though, all, all, all over and a decent palate. I enjoy the palate. You guys want to go ahead and talk about the, uh, the flavor? Yeah, the flavoring of it and everything like that. What'd you guys get out of the flavor? Mm -hmm. I, I I get you know it's it's a typical bourbon man. Yeah. It, you yeah. know yeah. you're going to get that corn mash, sweetie corn mash taste from mm -hmm. it. Uh, I get a lot of charred oakiness from, uh, from it. Um, it, it. It also has a slight hint when you taste it of kettle corn. And I know that's yeah. from the mash, yeah. but that sweet sweetness from kettle corn is kind of in there as well. Really a little bit of vanilla, a little yeah. uh, um, spice, that yeah. cinnamon. It's still in burnt apple. I get a little bit. Okay. Burnt apple. Uh, towards the end of it, at the end of the sip, I'm getting a little marshmallow, like that, like a campfire. Like marshmallow. at the end of it. Yeah, like a campfire marshmallow. Interesting. That's you know? a, that probably is also akin to the fact that this is actually a pretty creamy texture in my mouth. That mouth feel yeah. all the way down, all the way in. The toasted. I think toasted. There's a good toasted yes, feeling yeah, to yeah. it. Maybe I can, I, I put it similar to like marshmallows like you do or something mm -hmm. like that, but it just, there's a nice toasted feeling all the way through and it's creamy and it's coated. Yeah, I think a ma ma campfire marshmallow. And you right know, we've been sitting it. here for oh, about five minutes, mm -hmm. close to five minutes. Um, it's opened up quite yeah, a bit. Has. The alcohol burn is, is somewhat vanished and now all those other sweeter notes are starting to come out a little yeah. bit. Yeah, what's coming out through mine <clears throat> was definitely chocolate. I got a little bit of chocolate actually on the taste of it as well, so that could be the creaminess and the toastedness, kind of just, I, I equate marshmallows to chocolate, you know, because it's kind of the same I don't palette, get any know. chocolate really. at all. I, I, I get a little bit of the chocolate on there. It's a nice little sweet tone on the end of it. I, I, I enjoy it. And right now, about 30 seconds after I just tasted it again, I'm, I'm really getting that marshmallow kind of taste, the creaminess afterwards, and it's mm. it's, it, it's it's almost like just like that tobacco we tasted the first one. Yeah. It's that campfire feel. Mm -hmm. It's just what it is. So it would probably match really well with that with the cask number two. Yeah, oh that. yeah. Oh, you talking about the you talking about kamois? Yeah, yeah. kamois. Yeah, yeah. The one that we so because they both kind of had that campfire. Yeah, yeah. they would yeah. probably blend together. Well, at well. this point, the edge the of the ones. whiskey has kind of di disappeared for me, and mm. now I'm getting some spiciness coming mm. through as well. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's you know it's a decent flavor. It's a decent flavor. Yeah, for I mean, for the price point that we're for talking seventy about, cents a shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't go wrong. You're yeah, not beating yeah. it for sure. So moving on, let's go ahead and talk about the finish. Of the of the uh, whiskey, so like actually what it feels like, you know, going down and you know, you know just the, the overall afterthoughts of it. Really yeah, after you've taken your sip, what stays behind? Yeah. yeah. What stays behind? What do you taste? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What'd you get on it? I th when I first taste it, I get that kind of dry fruitiness, especially with the smell and the first taste. And the further I go on tasting it, kind of appreciating all of it. It just leans more and more to the slight smokiness, the vanillas, the the heat of it stays behind, but it's a good heat. It's like a it's like a mild a mild little heat on the mouth. Now. Yeah, I, yeah. I finish up at the end and I get it doesn't taste anything like medicine, but sometimes when you taste liquors or uh, other types of alcohol straight, or you take a shot or something, every now and then you'll get. Some type of me medicinal feel to it, like it's you like can tell. Plasticky. Well, it's, it's like, what a, it's what like I... a Jaeger, like a Jaeger. Ah, okay, that's okay. that's that's uh, okay. completely medicinal type liquor. And the only thing I could say is that this does leave my mouth a little numb. Yeah. A yeah. little numb at the yeah. end of yeah. it. I, I I can feel it in the gums. Just yeah. just and it's it's 
it's just numb. It, it's like, oh. Yeah, cool. it's a medium. To me, it doesn't linger forever, but it doesn't dissipate real quickly. Yeah. It's about a medium uh, effect that that lingers. Um, still, the woodiness of, of it is pretty, it's the strongest thing that I taste through the entire process. From the very beginning of nosing it to the finish, I get that woody uh, oak kind of taste. Yeah. And now, also, at the finish, I'm getting a little bit of tannins in it, like kind yeah. of a leathery kind of mm -hmm. yeah. kind of uh, feel to it. Uh, it's still a bit dry. The finish is still yeah. a little bit dry, but the drop of water. A, li a yeah. little, yeah. a little bit of the corn taste and of the vanilla taste kind of stays behind as well, so it helps that dryness a little bit. Cool. So that's that's kind of what I'm getting. Right on. Now, nose it again, guys. Yeah. After you've drank a little bit and after it's sit, the nose keeps getting better and better. I think I noticed that too, and it's it's really interesting how that happens. Not only does the nose get better and better, but as you're drinking it, well, too, yeah, it's, it's opening up. You know, it's warming up a little bit. Your also your your taste buds are and your nose mm. uh, is getting used to all the alcohol part of it, and so you're starting to get more of what what is hidden yeah. in the bourbon. Right. You know, right on. Cool. Did you guys have any other extra thoughts on any of that? The nose, the palate, the flavor, the finish? Well, I think we've covered Anything all of like those that? pretty well. Yeah. I mean, as far as an overall opinion yeah, of, sure. this, of this whiskey, um, I tried it in some mixed drinks as mm. well. And honestly, I couldn't tell the difference between this and some other well-styled bourbons mm. like Jim Beam or something mm -hmm. like that when you're using it as a mixer. mixer. So... Uh, as far as the price point goes, it's a bargain if yeah. you if you use mix, use it as a mixer. Right. Okay, um, you know at the Deerleys because of all the the woody kind of earthy kind of flavors that it has, mm -hmm. and you're at the Deerleys and you're you're with a campfire at night and everything, it might it might lend to that atmosphere pretty well. Yeah. Um, you know, as a straight bourbon, as if I'm just going to drink it straight in a glass like this and try to relax at night, maybe have a smoke and watch some TV or listen to some music or something like that, not too sure that I would go with this one as a straight bourbon, but for sure, as a mixer, this, I mean, for the price point, you can't beat it. Uh, and, like I said, for, you know, for the deer lease. Yeah. Not bad. And what kind of mixers did you try? And like, is there one you preferred more than the rest of them? Uh, well, the only I, I don't mix drinks that much. Yeah. Uh, so I tried it in an Italian gentleman. Uh, mm. If you don't know what that is, look it look it up. Google Italian gentleman drink, and uh, several recipes will come up. But basically, it's a mixture between bourbon and Campari, with a little bit of simple syrup and some other things in it. And um, it, it was uh, it was as good as Jim Beam. Same thing with an old fashioned. I had it yeah. the same way as an okay. old fashioned. And I, I, Dad's right. As as a mixer, this is right right there at the top. I mean, you're not investing a lot when it comes to your bourbon. Of course, with any drink, the better liquor you get, the better the drink is going to be. But I can I can barely discern a difference between a Jim Bean, a Jack Daniels, a, a, any type of Kentucky bourbon whiskey that you're going to get. This mixed up with them, I'll put it up there against the rest. Yeah, of them. but I liked it. I'm not going to spend, you know, seventy dollars on a on a Bell Mead or something like that. <laughs> yeah, and, and then mix, mix it. it with. I'm something. not going to do that. So you know, I'm going to use a less expensive bourbon to, to mix with, and this fits the bill. It's right yeah. up there. Well, it's okay because we we'd never let you mix, <laughs> mix <laughs> yeah, it. No, we never we'd never let that happen. So that's cool. Um, my overall stuff, I did try it once with a uh, whiskey and Coke, but for the most part, I just drank it straight just to get some flavors out of it i added a little bit of water a few times and i'm i'm with these three man or with these two man i just i have to say it's it's, it's a really good whiskey for the price point and it's yep. probably going to be maybe even better than other whiskeys at about this price point i mean i'll put it better than one right off the top of my head right which now. one jack daniels jack oh, daniels yeah. Ooh. really Ooh. yeah yeah See, well but you know i Jack Daniels to me is a different style of whiskey altogether yeah. than, a, than a bourbon. I don't know if you can consider Jack Daniels as a bourbon since it is it's a Tennessee, Tennessee whiskey. Yeah. I don't know, but they may call it a bourbon. But uh, to me, it's a different style for sure. Yeah, I 
I don't know. I'm just not a not a huge fan of something like that. Probably too many bad experiences. But oh. <laughs> uh, I, I will put this up there with some of those other brands that are twenty twenty two dollars a bottle. Yeah, yeah. I will put this up there with them. Cool. This is definitely a fair price for your fair shake of a good drink. You know, I was reading uh, on this <coughs> particular whiskey for this for this uh, impression, and um, this actually did win some awards as uh, best value whiskey, uh, oh. f- best value bourbon, uh, against those like um, Evan Williams and mm. things like that. And so this, well, you know, hey, y- for, for what it is, $12, yeah. uh, you know, 17 shots of booze, yeah, it's pretty good. I, go I just got painful thoughts. <laughs> that believe that's all. It's, it's, yeah, well. that's one of those I would never like to look back on. Honestly. Well, look, there you go. Very old Barton. There you go. <laughs> you got a new one. All right. right on. Well, guys, you got anything else to say about it? Anybody or no? All I, around. I would give this if you're if you're a person that likes to mix drinks, yeah. uh, or you're you're just looking for something to to take shots of. You know, not sip. Sure. Uh, this would be a good one to go for. Okay. Um, check out your local um, liquor, liquor stores store, yeah. and see if see if they find you can find it. And like, if they carry Buffalo Trace, they can also get this. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you know, it, it's it's a, it's worth the money. Yeah. And Buffalo Trace seems to be a pretty common one to find too. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's definitely readily available. All right. Well, cool guys. Um, it's gonna wrap it up for us, I guess. Here, and uh, we just wanted to thank you guys for viewing and uh, please leave your comments likes and subscribe all that kind of stuff down below let us know what you think give us some notes you know etc etc um you can also find us on facebook right we really would like to get some feedback because we we've gotten a few folks that commented on our videos so far but um they're they're all like great job you know really appreciate it we if you've got some critical things that you want to, that you would like for us to incorporate or to talk about, we'd really like to hear from you. Sure. So please make sure that you uh, uh, contact us. You can either leave comments below on the on the video. You can get a hold of me on Facebook. We have a page now on Facebook as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, pipes, tobacco, and whiskey. Uh, we have an email address. It's pipes, tobacco, and the word and whiskey at gmail.com. All that information is at the end of the video. If you'll look at that, you can uh, get get a hold of us. Cool. Yep. Also, if you have any suggestions of future things you would like for us to try, yes. leave them in the comments section below. Please, we do read these comments, and uh, anytime anybody has any suggestions of a particular whiskey, particular bourbon, particular tobacco, we will definitely put it on our yeah. list of things that we want to review and try. For sure. Well, that was fun today, guys. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Kind of a little different. Uh, well, the next one that we're going to do is uh, next week is going to be a tobacco tasting. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we're also going to be using similar brand pipes to do it in. Yeah. So we're also going to talk about our, our pipes as well uh, cool. when we do that. Cool. Yep. All right, All right. Great. Cool, guys. All right. So thank you again for watching. And uh, until next time, don't forget, make all your piping moments count. Thanks. Thank See you, guys. Appreciate Bye. it. Bye.